A seasoned hunter, Jack Mitchell, rescued a dying wolf from a frozen river, but he never imagined that the wolf would one day repay the debt in an unbelievable way that no human could foresee. This is the incredible story of Jack Mitchell and his unexpected bond with a wild wolf. In the dense forests of the northern wilderness, Jack lived a life of solitude and purpose. A skilled hunter, he had mastered the art of tracking and catching game. Over the years, he had become known for his respect for nature, never poaching and strictly adhering to the hunting seasons, taking only what was necessary. Jack's journey into hunting was not straightforward. Born and raised in the bustling city, he pursued a career in veterinary medicine and worked on a farm. But when the farm shut down, Jack found himself jobless and struggling to provide for his family. Hunting, a skill he had learned from his grandfather, became his way to put food on the table. What began as a childhood hobby soon became a means of survival. Jack's passion for the wilderness, however, was a constant source of tension in his marriage. His wife grew increasingly frustrated with his prolonged absences. Their home was filled with daily arguments and strife. Her resentment reached a tipping point when she found comfort with another man. The betrayal was the final blow to their already strained relationship. Eventually, they decided to divorce. Jack, in an attempt to make amends, gave her and their son Ethan the apartment and all his savings. He retreated to his grandfather's old cabin in the forest, a place where he felt a deep connection to his roots. As time passed, Jack's bond with nature deepened. He continued to hunt. Despite the separation, he remained close to his son Ethan. Every summer, Ethan would visit the cabin, spending his days learning about the wilderness, tracking animals, and understanding the delicate balance of nature. These were cherished moments for both father and son. One harsh winter day, Jack needed to travel to a neighboring village to gather supplies. The shortest route was across a frozen river. He carefully navigated the ice, mindful of its fragility. As he made his way, he noticed a dark shape struggling in the icy water. Intrigued and concerned, Jack approached and discovered a wolf, its paws desperately clinging to the ice. Without hesitation, Jack sprang into action. He used his hunting knife to break the ice surrounding the wolf and managed to pull the heavy animal onto solid ground. He wrapped the wolf in his coat and carried it back to his cabin, his muscles straining under the weight. Back at the cabin, Jack placed the wolf near the stove and used heated water bottles to warm its frozen paws. Hours passed, and the wolf's breathing steadied. Exhausted, Jack dozed off, only to be awakened by a low growl. The wolf, now conscious but weak, eyed him morally. Over the next few days, Jack cared for the wolf, feeding it and nursing it back to health. He moved the animal to the barn for its comfort and his safety. Slowly, the wolf regained its strength and began to trust Jack. When summer arrived, Ethan joined his father at the cabin. Together, they continued to care for the wolf, providing it with vitamins and massage therapy. As the season changed, the wolf returned to the wild, jumping over the fence and disappearing into the forest. Jack explained to Ethan that the forest was the wolf's true home. The following winter, during the holidays, Ethan visited again. This time, he was 16 and eager to spend more time with his father. One afternoon, Jack and Ethan decided to take a walk deep into the forest, hoping to spot some wildlife. The forest was quiet and serene, the snow crunching under their boots as they made their way through the dense trees. As they walked, Ethan suddenly stopped in his tracks, his eyes wide with surprise. Ahead of them, partially hidden by the trees, was a wolf pack, and among them, he recognized a familiar figure, the wolf they had nursed back to health. Dad, look, it's him, the wolf we saved, Ethan whispered, his voice filled with excitement. Jack squinted through the trees, his heart pounding. It was indeed the same wolf, but something was different. The wolf was with his pack now, and there was a fierce look in his eyes. Ethan took a step forward, wanting to approach the wolf he remembered fondly. But as soon as Ethan moved closer, the wolf's demeanor changed. He bared his teeth and growled, his hackles rising. The rest of the pack followed suit, growling, and showing signs of aggression. Ethan's heart sank as he realized that the wolf didn't recognize him. The bond they had formed seemed to mean nothing in the wild. Ethan, stop, Jack said urgently. He's with his pack now, and they see us as a threat. But why, Dad, we helped him? Why is he acting like this? Ethan asked, his voice breaking. The wild changes animals, son, Jack said softly. Just then, the lead wolf made a mock charge towards them, snapping his jaws in warning. Slowly, Ethan, Jack instructed, 
his voice calm but firm. We need to back away slowly, show them we're not a threat. They began to retreat, step by step, never turning their backs on the wolves. The wolf pack watched them closely, growling softly and ready to attack if necessary. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, they reached a safe distance and the wolves turned away, melting back into the forest shadows. Ethan's heart was heavy with sadness and confusion. Why didn't he remember us, Dad? Ethan asked. Jack sighed, placing a comforting arm around his son's shoulders. Sometimes even the strongest bonds can fade when faced with the call of the wild. We did what we could for him, and that was enough. Now he's back where he belongs. Ethan couldn't shake the image of the wolf's fierce eyes and the way he had growled at them. It was a harsh lesson in the realities of nature. Days passed, and Ethan's attachment to the wolf slowly began to fade. One winter afternoon, Jack sent Ethan to gather firewood from a nearby grove. As Ethan moved carefully through the forest, he reached a frozen stream. The ice looked strong, so he decided to cross it to get to a fallen tree that had good firewood. As Ethan stepped onto the ice, it suddenly broke beneath him with a sharp crack. He fell into the freezing water, the cold taking his breath away. He tried to grab the ice's edge, but it kept breaking, making it impossible to pull himself out. Panic set in as he began to lose strength. Just when hope seemed lost, Ethan heard a familiar growl. Looking up, he saw the wolf standing at the edge of the stream, staring intently at him. This was the same wolf they had saved, but now it was accompanied by its pack. The wolf seemed to hesitate for a moment, then cautiously approached the hole in the ice. It leaned over, gripping Ethan's coat with its teeth. Using all its strength, the wolf began to pull him out of the water. The other wolves watched while growling at Ethan. Once on solid ground, the wolf nudged him as if encouraging him to get up. The lead wolf growled, showing its teeth, but it wasn't an act of aggression. It was a command to its pack to stay back. Ethan took a few shaky steps back, understanding the message. The wolf that had saved him gave one last look before turning to rejoin its pack. With a final glance, the wolves disappeared into the forest, leaving Ethan standing there, breathless and grateful. He stumbled through the snow, making his way back to the cabin. When Jack saw his son wet and shivering, he quickly wrapped him in blankets and sat him by the fire. Ethan, teeth chattering from the cold, recounted the entire incident. Jack gazed towards the forest, his heart swelling with gratitude. I guess some bonds are never broken, he murmured softly. Though they never saw the wolf again, Jack and Ethan would always remember the extraordinary bond they had shared with the wild creature and the life it had saved. What an incredible story! If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment below. See you in the next video!